Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Olympic Park here in London more specifically the Velo Park just behind me here where loads of runners are going out and getting their races done this morning for me I'm going to be doing a sub 40 10k and most importantly giving you a load of tips and tricks so you can also go out there and do a sub 40 10k I am really excited for this one and before I start thank you so much to everyone that smashed that like button on the last video asking for this one so that is why we're here due to your support so thank you so much right i'm gonna get my shoes on my kit on go and pick up my number from registration and next time you see me we'll be on the start line to take you through this amazing distance this amazing race to get you that time that you want right sit back relax let's go to sub 40 10k minutes or sub 40 minutes for the 10k we're off now hoping to keep around that four minute k pace just a smidge under that 6 at 26 for a mile but yeah just gonna settle into this and then I will catch up with you very very shortly it is a very hilly course we have to do six laps of the cycling track and yeah, there's quite a bit of elevation. I'll put the full elevation for the 10k. Just gonna put the hill there up on the screen now. There's also loads of other runners here today. There's 5k, 10k, 10 mile, half marathon, and a marathon, and a kids mini mile as well going on at the same time. I can relax on the downhill now. Now the sun's come out, it's glorious. Right, let's have a chat about pacing. For me, I like to do about 8k at the same pace. So. Yeah, just under four minute Ks. Now why I say just under, because of GPS error. If you're using your watch, if you're pacing as so many of us do, the course is probably gonna be like 10.1, 10.2 potentially, with weaving and corners and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, 357s for 8K, and then just try and kick down for the last two. That's what I like to do. Some people like to start out a little bit slower. So maybe around 405, 410 for the first 3K. They go on to pace, and then ahead of pace. 3.51 for the first gear, a bit fast. Have you got somebody in there? Oh, there is. That's amazing. Right, so how are we gonna get the training done? Well, for a lot of people, it's gonna be a 10 a week training block. And you wanna be putting in around about 50 to 70K of running as well per week so yeah some decent volume here but this is difficult running five to six runs a week on average focusing on that weekly speed session and a decent long run for a long run could be anything up to around about 19 or 20k for me three key sessions to get into your training block six by three minutes at your 5k pace running faster than goal pace learning to suffer see what that's going to feel like really improve that leg speed and build that vo2 max my second good suggested session is four by a mile at your 10k goal pace building that speed endurance and learning to suffer the 10k is all about suffering uh, 350 that i haven't slowed down I need to slow down. And also getting some tempos in there. Really, really important. As well as your easy runs and your cover runs. We'll put all the suggested paces for all your runs for someone training for a sub 40 10K up on the screen now. Thank you to everyone liking and subscribing. That's why we're here today. At least we've got 2K likes on the Pike video. And if this video gets 2K likes, just smash that like button. Then we'll do how to run a sub three marathon while running a sub three marathon that'll be coming up towards the end of the year smash that like button the sooner we hit that goal the sooner you get the video thanks so much guys a lot of people ask when can they start training for a sub 40 10 well really you want to be sub 25k or running a 42 a 42 running a 40 running a 10k in about 42 43 minutes before you can start training for one properly and what can you go on to after this 
the sub three marathon once you can run a sub 40 10 4k up yeah rolling nice loving this race so cool to be out here with so many people on a saturday morning out getting it done and yeah difficult course and that's my next point find a fast course maybe not the villa park at stratford but battersea park in london where we do the 5k much much easier nice and flat there we'll put a list of a load of flat courses in the uk up on the screen now and also don't hello don't discount running on the track as well not many people do well that's as flat as you can get two fences 25 laps of a 400 meter athletic track you can normally get some good pace groups there as well maybe look up your local athletics club That's the Garmin 5K up, 1983. Moving on, mindset. For me, 10K is the hardest race that there is out there in terms of the suffering you have to go through. We're running just past the velodrome here. Those cyclists in there, the 2012 Olympics was amazing, the how far they could push their body. And that's what you've got to work on in training with your 10K running. It hurts, you've got to get out and learn to suffer in your training because on race day the back of a 10k is painful there's no lying about that so you need to learn to suffer in your training and get strong fitness alone is not going to get you through the race you need to do some strength how can we do that obviously at the gym we'll put a little gym routine up on the screen now and also getting some hills into your training some hill reps they help build good form they help get you strong and they help build mental toughness as well because they are hard just something like eight by 60 seconds with a 90 second jog back down will work wonders for your running also a great hack to improve your form strides getting some strides in after your easy runs or towards the end of your easy runs so so important right here we go guys coming through the stop finish area for one last time final lap come on let's get this done do you need nutrition in a race like this not really some people like to take a gel on the start line before they go but for 40 minutes hard running you'll be all right if they've got some water on the course you feel thirsty have a sip for me it's all about what you do before me i had a bagel usual bagel for my breakfast this morning and then just some morton drink mix just before i go ahead. but don't stress about it just do what works for you in your training we'll get you through it's not really the nutrition it's the fitness and the strength Right, it's 9k up, just under 34, and yeah, it's all about wearing your very best kit as well. Put your best shoes on, your best singlet, your best running hat from benparks.com, of course, and feel good, feel confident, back yourself. You've done the training, so you can go. Cheers guys out here, great to see so many of you. Alright, coming into the finish. That's the 10 car on the watch up, We've still got a bit to go. That's why I say, always go a little bit ahead of the pace. Love bringing this video to you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button, come on. Here we go. Well done, check one out this time. Oh, thank you very much. There we go. Nice medal to finish it. And yeah, thanks to Run Through. Thanks to all the legends out here getting it done, and working hard at their training. Lots of people training for gold races. And just yeah, beautiful day here in London. Great running community. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for the support and getting me out here making these videos. I couldn't do it without you. Happy me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's that's great. Great. Thank you very much. That was so much fun, really, really
really good. Hopefully 3.45 pace will be around about my marathon pace next weekend in New York. I cannot wait to bring that one to you guys. We'll put up my Strava splits up on the screen now. They may be a bit all over the place because of the undulating course and the final time on run through. It's gonna be about 30, what does my watch even say? I don't know, 37.40 high force, it's something like that. The official time's on the screen now. Yeah guys, thank you for all the support. Well done to all these legends. Next video coming up is when I ran a 32.30 unofficial 10K because it was in lockdown just over there. So if you want to see me going max out effort 32.30 for an unofficial 10K on GPS, then that video is coming up. Thanks very much for the support, guys. Please check out the website benparks.com. Get the best running hats. All our new winter gear is out now and shipping around the world to all of you legends supporting what we do. Thank you so, so much. Keep on working hard. Keep on getting it done. Let me know how you get on in your sub 40 10K. We'll see you very soon in the next one.